Here we are going through the flood. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I drove through a mile, almost a mile of this in, in Guayabitos the other day going to Rotary. Yeah, it was very flooded in Guayabitos as well. Nice. And you can see how flooded the street is here and it looks like it's flooded for quite some way. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit here. You can really get the gist of just how much water is flowing through. I mean, it's really amazingly. Here's Owen driving through the flood. Hi, Bobby. That's a close-up. <laughs> wow. It kind of reminds me of uh, snorkel days in Gunnison when a crazy drunk college students would go out in Oh God, the, don't stop man, it's really plowing here, look at that. No, uh, the college students oh. would go out and drive up and down the river as the runoff came up. Man, look at these rapids. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I'm not trying to interrupt your story, baby. That's okay. I apologize for that. Yeah, there's a lot of water in here. But see, we'll come back through here in the afternoon and this will all be another foot or two down. God, just don't stop. If this truck ahead of us can There's go. There's no ifs. There, everybody's just moving along just fine. Yes, there is. Just peachy. This is business as usual in Mexico, folks. Keep the gas on. Business as usual, you say? Well, in some parts during the rainy season, absolutely. Push on the gas, babe. Jesus. <laughs> Let's get through this. No oh, shit. You don't have the four-wheel drive on? I do now, babe. Thank you. Holy kamoli, this is... this. That was a little scary through there. The force of the water just seemed to intensify and the road's really getting washed out. But we've made it. We've come to the end of the journey here. And uh, looks like it's starting to lighten up. And there's an ambulance just, just in case, it looks like. Protection of civil bomber. So here we are, back to dry land. Uh -huh.